Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today, we're going to learn how to create a GIF in Canva. So once you are inside Canva, it can be the free or the pro account. What we're going to do is create a video. And it does have to be a video for a specific reason, which I'll tell you about in a second. So I'm just going to create a blank video. So I'm gonna make just a real simple GIF and I'm going to use four different slides. And my first one, I'm just gonna change the background color. I'll just take a blue color here and then maybe like uh, this purplish color let me make this one orange and then this one is going to be green so my gif is going to have four different scenes just like this and now what i want to do is add some text on each slide so my first one is going to say make this gif is going to say make a gif all right here is my text i'm just going to take this and make this really big kind of like that okay and I'm actually going to cut this and I'm going to bring this on the first scene just like that I'm now going to go to page two and I'm going to paste this time I'm going to take the a and now on page three or my third scene I'm just going to use or I'm just going to type gif okay so it's going to say make a gif and then the last step is for me to add the Canva logo on this page. There is the Canva logo right over here. Okay, so now when I play this, if I go back right over here, here's how it's going to look. You can see the playhead at the bottom there. So it kind of does what I want, but it's extremely slow. So I want to go a little bit faster than this speed. So this is why it's important to use a video. And the reason for it is because once you have a video, if you click on each page, you have the option to change the time. So I want this to go really quick. I want it to read as make a GIF and then show Canva at the end. So for this one, I'm going to turn the seconds all the way down to maybe half a second. Just like that, I'm going to apply to all four pages. Now, this is what my GIF will look like. Pretty quick, right? All right, now I just wanna change the time of this last one because I want that Canva to last for maybe, we'll say, a second and a half, just like that. Okay, I can preview this by clicking this. Try again, make a GIF, Canva logo. Okay, now some other cool things that you can do on here is if you wanted to add like a little bit of animation. So if I clicked on animate and I did something like that, fade, okay, that will now show up. Do the same thing here. Click on my A, click fade. And now let's pick a different effect for me to use. I'll just say pop. Okay, and then same thing here. This time I'm going to add an effect this way. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, pretty cool. Now the other thing I can do, I can add a transition in between here. I don't know how it's going to look because these are such short clips, but uh, slide, let's try slide. I'll try slide here as well. Whoops. Let me try slide here as well and slide for the last one as well. Now let's go back and watch this. a little bit too fast so from here i'd probably want to uh really make this an extremely short transition i'm at one tenth of a second so pretty short let's try this now okay not bad so i think for the most part this looks pretty cool so what i'm going to do now is select share at the top right hand side of the screen I'm going to choose download. And now from here, instead of exporting this as an MP4 video, I'm going to share this as a GIF. As you can see, short clip, no sound. I'm going to use all four of those pages. I'll select download. And in a few minutes, my GIF should be ready to share. Okay, so here it is. 
looks really cool, I can share this on social media or anywhere else that I would like. So that's a little bit of how to create a very basic GIF using Canva. There's so much more you can do, and I hope to share that with you over the next few weeks. So thank you so much for watching this video, and if you have any questions on how to create a GIF in Canva, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks and have a great day.